I am a convert. Um, my name on YouTube, Instagram, everything pretty much says it right off the bat that I am a white female um, living in Canada, raised in Canada, who is a convert to Islam. I was not religious beforehand. I was raised in a church. Um, I stopped going around age 11. Um, and this is the story behind how I came to be a Muslim at the age of 20. As you guys know, I do upload every week, so don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos. So, I'm also going to be filming a hijab story, but it's just going to be in about a week or two, just because I didn't want to add it in this with this one. So, keep an eye out for that as well. A little back history, I was raised in... The city I live in now, I was raised here, but I was very young when I had moved, so I like to say I come from the country because that's where my personality developed, that's where who I was as a person had developed, and I was raised around like all white people. We had some Portuguese, but they were all Catholic, so I never really got a sense of other religions, and my town that I came from is like really small-minded, so it's not like anybody discussed it you know, discuss even other religions, so pretty much what happened was I moved back to this city two years ago and at that time I was talking to a boy who came from a Muslim family and him and I started to see each other um, and throughout the summer things got pretty serious with us and that's when we started talking about marriage because for him it was like you know, you're Muslim, you're supposed to get married. His family was would not allow, you know, him to just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to meet them unless it was serious, you know? So it kind of just got to the point where we were talking about it, and I started looking into Islam from there, and it was something that I was so addicted to. Like, I started with a Wikipedia page, and then it branched... Bleh, then it branched out to... YouTube videos of lectures, stories of other converts, um, just anything I could get my hands on, it was like, I have to watch this, I have to read this, I want, I want more, like, my heart was so attached to knowing about Islam that I started, like, slacking in school, I started to, like, not talk to my family as much, even though I had already, li like, I live on my own, mind you, so it's not like I had to hide it, um, I just, I, I couldn't stop. My heart was like, it was so attached to this, this religion that, and I had never in my life been attached to something so much before, like, and I'm not really the person to think that I'm able to commit to um, life-changing things, but this is the only thing in my entire life that I have managed to stick with um, voluntarily, like, because it makes me feel so content, right? So from there, after about like three or four months, um, I had went out and I got Quran and I had read it and that's kind of when I knew that I'm meant to be a Muslim. This is what I want. This is this is what is making me feel like just so at ease. My mind was I was just such a happy person. I mean, I still am a happy person, but in that time it was like I was cutting out bad habits. I was cutting out bad people in my life and it was just such a beautiful thing for me that I had I had never experienced anything like it before. So after I had bought Quran, that was kind of the time when I had reached out to this boy's sisters to because I know that they are like practicing Muslims, you know, they come from a good family. So I reached out to them and they were so welcoming. They took me to a couple of sister parties where I got to meet some other girls in the community and it was just it was that month in December was just like a really good month. It was so, I was absorbing so much information and I was so ready to become a Muslim that I just, I just knew. Like, it's so hard to explain to people because if they don't know anything about Islam and they've never researched it, they don't, they don't know how, how it makes your heart feel. It doesn't, it's hard to tell people, okay, why? Why did you convert? And 100% it has everything to do with how it made me feel as a person, how it made me feel as a woman because there is so much power that a woman has in Islam that like It's hard to explain to people. I feel like if you're not a Muslim and you're watching this and you haven't really looked up Islam and you're just kind of here to just see why 
look into it. Look, even if you're not, you know, oh, I don't want to be a Muslim, educate yourself because women in Islam are held so high, so high. And the media says so many other things that it's hard to believe that. If you're somebody who watches the news, it's hard to believe that me, who covers myself, must not have any rights at all, right? When the opposite is actually true. So as a woman who who didn't have self-esteem, who found love in ways that I shouldn't have, and who thought that my strength came from how beautiful I was or how appealing I was to others, this was a big thing for me. This was a big, it was a complete change, 100%, like a, a complete change for me. And it was something that my heart was so attached to that I didn't even have to hesitate. This was like, no, I know how I should be treated as a woman, regardless of Islam, the morals of it are right. Um, and that, that definitely is one of the reasons why it drove me so much to it. That's also the reason why I had decided that I no longer wanted to be with this boy. And I personally think that it was a really good decision. I think that um, he w I mean, he wasn't written for me or else we would be together. There would be reasons why we would be together and we're not. So from there, after, after I had ended things, um, that's when I decided in February 6th that I wanted to be a Muslim. I wanted to do it officially. I wanted to um, say Shahada, you know, at the mosque with a sheikh. And I know you don't have to do that. It was just, for me, it was something that I wanted to make it, I wanted to be as, as official as possible. And I know that you can say it at home and I know that that's, you know, how it is. But because I had met his sisters, it was like, I want them there for me. And they were 100% like, I want to be there for you. And when you convert, like, please tell me because I want to be there. <laughs> so we had gone to the mosque and, oh my gosh, I remember the day, like, so clearly. I showed up, like, 20 minutes before they showed up. And I was wearing tights. I had on a long shirt that didn't even cover my knees. I didn't have much modest clothing at this point, so I was still kind of in the process of changing on my wardrobe. I had hijab on, but I mean, I wasn't really dressed that modestly. I didn't even have a skirt. Like, so when they showed up, um, one of the sisters had actually, excuse me, one of the sisters had actually brought me a skirt. So that helped out a lot. And we go into this room where the chef's desk is and all that, and his like his office. And he sits down and she, um, sorry, he is like telling me, you know, the basis of Islam just to make sure that I know what I'm getting into and like, you know, all that. And of course, I mean, I had spent months studying this religion. Like, I, I still don't know even 1% of what there is to know. But at that point, even with that less than 1% of knowledge I had, I already knew that this was what I wanted. So after that, um... Uh, we got like a knock on the door and it was like the sister's friends that I had never even met who like really wanted to be there so I wasn't even in a room with people that I completely knew so he's like okay so we're ready we're gonna do this and I was like oh okay <laughs> so he said it in English first and so I repeated it and and that part was easy you know I knew what I was saying I had already looked it up what I would be saying but the second that it was time came time to say it in Arabic it was like Everybody in the room disappeared. Nobody was in the room with me. It was me and God, and that was it. It was, I was shaking. I was crying like crazy. After even the first letter to be pronounced, I, tears, like, I would not stop crying. It was, like, the most emotional thing I've ever done in my entire life. And it was the most, it was, like, the moment I realized that I'm a completely different person than I was. And I had gone from somebody who had the same mindset for about five years after, you know, hitting high school and up until I was about 20, I had the same mindset on what I was going to be doing in my life and how I treated people, how I let people treat me. Like, I was a completely different person in that moment. It was like as if who I was before, gone. And even though there are still so many things that I have to work on, I knew in that moment that that was the start. And that was the start when I knew that it was possible because I had a God guiding me and it was just, oh, <laughs> I feel like it's, I've told this story so many times, so it's kind of difficult, like, to get all of it out, but 
there is no feeling like it. There is absolutely no feeling like it. Like, you feel like all of those things from your past that were causing hardship for you, that was, that was like bringing you down and making you feel like you weren't going anywhere, all of that was gone. It was like as if I was, I was always constantly worried about things that had happened in my past and that I would never be able to let those things go. And this was the thing that 100% made me feel like, okay, I've asked forgiveness for this. And, and this is the path that God wants me to take. And my heart felt like those things don't matter anymore. You have so much more to look forward to and you have so many things that you know, you deserve this. This is, you deserve to have this ease in your heart. And so that's the best way that I can explain to people the feeling you get, the reason behind why I did it. Um, but even then, after saying Shahada and everything, um, I still, I still had things to work on. I wasn't wearing hijab at the time. Um, you know, it was, it's a learning process. It's not like it's something that you can just do and then you're changed. Like, it takes, it's a lifetime. Being a religious person, being a Muslim, from the day you're born until the day that you die, that, that's your test. So, for me, it was like, at first, after I converted, I remember feeling like, oh, I don't wear hijab yet. Oh, you know, my, my prayers aren't 100% perfect. Or... I felt like in that moment, like, not in that moment, but afterwards, it was like, you have to, you, you have to be perfect. You have to, <laughs> you have to know everything and you have to act a completely certain way. Like, it took me about two months or so to realize, don't be so hard on yourself. You're, you're only two months as a Muslim, you know, there's people who, who are born into Islam and, you know, in their forties or so, that's when they kind of learn to change who they are. Like, I only been a Muslim for two months, and I was already feeling like, oh, I have to be perfect, and I have to, I don't, why am I not wearing hijab? Why, why do I not feel ready for it? And so that was, that itself was like, that two months afterwards, my imam was so high, but at the same time, it was, I was so kind of down about myself that I, that's when I had to take a step back and realize this is a lifetime. You have a lifetime to perfect this. That doesn't mean wait five years to perfect it. It means start now but don't be so hard on yourself because God will see everything you're doing and know where you're, where you're at in your life. And I feel like I, I feel like there, if you were somebody who converts to Islam and you jump into every single thing right at first, you might be discouraged later on in life if you're not ready for certain things that you did. And I feel like that causes a really big risk for people to leave Islam. So for me, once I had realized that it was like, okay, take it slow do what you need to do, work at a pace that you are happy with, don't force yourself to do anything that you don't want to. And that's sort of, that's, that's kind of how it happened. That's, that's pretty much from the beginning to even now. Like, I was a Muslim for a year. I didn't put hijab on until about two months ago. And if you followed me on my YouTube page prior to that, um, you will have known that. <laughs> Just because, like, I had to delete those photos, those videos, obviously, and even, like, photos on my Instagram and my Facebook and all that, but... It... it I wish... I... There's so many things that are about it that you, you can't really pinpoint how to say it. Like, you can just see it in a person. If you meet somebody, you can see it in their heart that... That they're attached to a son. They have... They have this thing about them. It's so hard to explain. Even when I met Muslims, you know everything about them, their aura around them, it was just like happiness and contentment and calmness in the heart. It's subhanAllah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful religion. I advise you, if you are not a Muslim and you know, you, you just came to watch this video just to kind of see where my story is at, I'm not saying go be a Muslim, I mean obviously I encourage it, but go read about it at least. Educate yourself a little bit, you know? Find out so that when you see a Muslim on the street, your thoughts aren't what the media tells you. Your thoughts are self-education that you did yourself about what that person follows. I feel like everybody knows about all the other religions. Like, why doesn't anybody know the truth about this one, you know? And it makes it, it, makes it a little bit difficult for us, but at the same time, like, I'm so... 
happy with it that I will answer any questions. <laughs> I, you know, I don't mind telling people the story. I have a lot of people at work who have asked me about it, and, and I love sharing it, even with people that I know are Catholic and love being Catholic. It's still really good to educate people on it so that you're not stuck in a situation where, like myself, being stuck, being criticized about something that someone doesn't even know about. Like, that's probably the worst. <laughs> um, so, moving on to, like, how my family took it. My dad actually called me out on it months prior to converting. He kind of already knew what was going on, so alhamdulillah, he's so supportive, and he's he's my best friend. I love him to death, and he he was the most he's the most important person that I wanted to know what was going on, and um, I wanted the support from just because like my parents are divorced, and I didn't really know my mom that well after they divorced because they divorced when I was a little bit younger, um, and so. Islam actually brought me closer to my mom. That's when I realized that, you know, my mother is very important and it's important that I get to know her again from, you know, two adults rather than like the mom and like a young kid. Um, so, you know, we're we're still working on it and, you know, it's amazing to think that would we be where we are, me and my mom, if it wasn't for Islam? If I didn't take my pride down in reach out to her would it be where it is now so between my parents it worked out fine when I told my mom she's like whatever <laughs> like she didn't care like for her she didn't really know about Islam so she really didn't care that much <laughs> like even now she doesn't so other than that like my grandparents it took a little while to get them to understand why I made the decision um I know there's still another half of my family who knows that I put hijab on they know that I'm a Muslim but I haven't seen them, I haven't really talked to them, so I don't really know how that's going to go, but I'm really hoping that they're just going to be supportive, even if they don't understand. Um, the support means a lot to me, I don't want to lose my relationships with these people, so I just really hope that that stays, so if you guys are watching this, like, please don't hate me. So, I'm going to wrap it up and tell you guys this is the best decision I've ever made. I encourage you guys to educate yourself if you don't already know, and if you are a born Muslim, and your imam is just not as high as it was, you know, take this into consideration. People are still falling in love with Islam. People are converting every day. It, it, the religion is growing so fast. Don't lose hope because God is so merciful. And if you just go to him and you, you tell him why, you know, why I'm feeling like this or, you know, God's going to listen and he's going to put you on the path that he wants you on. And... For those who aren't a Muslim who are watching this, I'm glad that you took the time to watch.